This is the all-new 6th generation Volkswagen Polo, and here's the CarWow Top 10 Things You Need to Know About It. You'll still be able to recognize it as a Polo, but the all-new model looks sleeker and sharper than before. That's partly because it's both longer and wider than the old car. This helps make it more roomy inside, but probably not easier to park. Now, if you click on the top right-hand corner of the screen, you can vote which you think looks the best, the VW Polo or new Seat Ibiza. Inside, the new Polo ditches the old car's functional but dreary cabin for a more lively and modern design. The smart new interior can be perked up with one of 13 dashboard colour options, while quality is among the best of any small car. The space between the front and rear wheels is 94mm longer than the one on the old Polo, and VW claims this makes the new car more stable at speed and more comfortable over bumps. For the first time, the Polo will also be available with adaptive suspension, so you can fine-tune the drive just as you like it. As the Polo has grown on the outside, there's now more space on the inside for passengers. In fact, it begs the question, do you really need a Golf? The boot has grown too. The 351 litre volume is just 29 litres less than you get with a Golf. All Polos now get at least a 6-inch infotainment screen, while top-end models get an 8-inch display. Volkswagen has also mounted the screen much higher up on the dashboard than in the old Polo, so it's easier and safer to use while you're driving. You'll be able to get the new Polo with a choice of seven engines, including VW's excellent new 150 horsepower 1.5 litre turbo petrol. There'll be a couple of 1.6 litre diesel engines too, while a seven speed DSG automatic gearbox will be available on some models. For the first time ever, the Polo gets Volkswagen's active information display. It features a 12.3 inch digital screen which replaces traditional dials and can be customised to show driving, navigation, media, and phone functions. If fun is your thing, a fiery GTI version of the Polo will also be available. It gets a 2-litre turbocharged petrol engine with 200 horsepower. That's 8 horsepower more than the previous 1.8-litre Polo GTI. It also has upgraded suspension and brakes. The safety kit fitted to the new Polo is some of the most advanced in its class. Emergency city braking with pedestrian detection is standard, while adaptive cruise control, blind spot detection and semi-autonomous parking are optional. The new Volkswagen Polo will start from around £14,000 when it goes on sale towards the end of 2017. And if you click in the top right hand corner of the screen, you can go to carwow.co.uk and build your ideal car, then get five great offers back from top dealers within 24 hours so you can compare prices. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it and click on our logo to subscribe. Also click on the video windows to watch my guide to the new Ford Fiesta and my review of the new Seat Ibiza.